Hello, Doctrix family. I am Dr. Kemal Aslan. Here we are again with a test video. I briefly explained to you the most frequently requested tests in a way that you can understand. If you have any questions about them, you know I try to answer them. Our topic today is AST. I have explained the all tests before. Friends, those who have this test should watch our video. You have questions such as why this test rises, the feeling of tension, if liver functions deteriorate jaundice, the color of the stool becomes white, the urine becomes dark, the blood is high and what its limits should be, or if it is high, how can you lower it? There is yellowing in the white part of the pupils. We call it jaundice. There may be severe jaundice, of course. This is related to the severity of liver disease. We will answer them in this video. Now, let's start with what AST is. Now, liver disease was suspected in your doctor. You have these symptoms. Friends, the test was requested and the AST was high. Well, what causes AST elevation? Let me talk about it. There are possible situations according to the level of this height. Of course, it cannot be understood only with this test. It cannot be diagnosed. Your doctor specifically, ultrasound or other tests. Also called AST or SGPT, but usually the name AST is used. AST is known as a liver enzyme, but it is not an enzyme produced in the liver, even if it is related to the liver. Sometimes he or she may order imaging tests, examine and make a diagnosis. It is abundant in the liver, muscle, kidney, heart tissue, some pancreas, and a small amount of erythrocytes, i.e. red blood cells, and oxygen-carrying cells. Now, let's list the reasons for the height from the least to the most, at mild elevations, 50, 60, 70, anyway, it can be found in blood up to about 40 U slash milliliter. In this blood test, if it exceeds the maximum reference of 40, we call it high AST. Now, why is AST elevated in the blood? AST is an intracellular enzyme, so it has a function in the body. At those heights, it is usually due to fatty liver. Fatty makes a kind of liver disease and AST passes into the blood and rises. Think of it this way, you had a traffic accident. Just as the vehicle was damaged after the accident, some parts fell on the ground. AST tells our doctors that there is a damage or a disease. It leaves the cell and passes into the blood. High in the blood may be a symptom of liver disease at first, but it can also indicate other problems. Now, when the cell is damaged, about five to six hours after diseases, trauma, AST starts to rise in the blood, that is, it becomes 40 and above. Apart from that, there is a condition called hemolysis, which is not very well known. Excessive shaking of that blood tube you give blood. I said before, I said acid level 40 and above. So why is this test requested? I will talk about it. AST is usually requested when we all have a suspicion of liver disease at some point. What are the symptoms of liver disease? Such a vague discomfort or pain depends on its severity, loss of appetite. Waiting for a long time before working, blood hemolysis may occur if blood is difficult to draw while attaching a tourniquet to your arm. As a result of hemolysis, the AST enzyme passes into the blood and becomes falsely high. Another cause of AST elevation is usually liver and biliary tract diseases, nausea, vomiting, swelling on the right side of our abdomen, in the upper right side, indigestion. Let's summarize. What is it? Hepatitis viruses. Hepatitis viruses such as hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E, a disease called hemochromatosis, iron accumulates in the liver, biopsy. Damage due to certain drugs and chemicals increases AST levels. Infections involving the liver, tumors of the liver, cirrhosis, failure of the liver, and all kinds of diseases of the liver and biliary tract that come to mind. AST increases similarly. It also increases biliary diseases, biliary obstructions, stones, tumors, 
biliary inflammation, i.e. cholecystitis. We said that there is AST in the kidneys. It increases in kidney failure, kidney diseases, and increases in heart attack. I said that there are also in the muscles, therefore, muscle diseases, muscular dystrophies, seizures, or excessive caffeine, even with injections, AST may be slightly elevated. Burns can rise in bruises, I said heart attack. It rises in some diseases of the intestine, celiac disease, Crohn's disease, diverticulitis, etc. Apart from that, there are very rare cases of elevation. There is a condition called intravascular hemolysis. Erythrocytes are broken down in the blood vessels. There are some anemia, hemolytic anemia, and AST increases in them. In summary, liver and biliary tract diseases are generally considered if AST is elevated. Well, it was height, this height. How to lower this enzyme? Apart from that, the drugs you use continuously can also cause liver damage. If there is hemolysis in the sample, this will also make a false height. Now, slight elevations, such as between 40 and 90, this is usually due to mild fatty liver. Your doctor diagnoses with ultrasound, examination, etc., treats accordingly, gives diet and exercise. If you have other symptoms other than that, your disease is detected and treated anyway as a result of the examination and related tests, so AST decreases. Well, AST rises in liver disease, we understand that. What is the normal limit of AST? Let's say it, we call it the reference range. This varies a little from laboratory to laboratory, but we say that there is an AST elevation of 40 and above on average. Let me also say, this test is usually requested together with another test, which we call ALT, that is, both AST and ALT are requested together. Now, ALT is also an indicator of liver disease, but it also beats in other diseases. If your ALT level is normal and AST is high, this can usually be caused by muscle or heart diseases, because if ALT is normal, it is usually a disease of the liver, there is no disease. So ALT is a more specific test for the liver. ALP test, GGT test may also be requested. I explain them in other videos. It means that the AST test is especially increased in liver diseases with ALT, but the ALT elevation is more specific to liver disease. If AST is high, this may be a sign of heart disease, muscle disease, or a breakdown in erythrocytes, hemolysis. Yes, we learned what AST was, we learned why it was rising. As I said, it depends on the understanding of what the disease is. This will be determined by your doctor. If necessary, he will give some medications. The medicine and treatment of each condition is different. The medicine is different when you have hepatitis B. The medicine for hemochromatosis is different. There is treatment according to the situation. What can you do? You will protect your liver. If you have fat, you will follow the diet given by your doctor. You will consume plenty of green vegetables because some elements in green vegetables, antioxidants, glutathione, etc. regenerate the liver. You will drink plenty of water. You will exercise. You will lose weight if you are overweight. You will not smoke or drink alcohol. You know, these damage the liver. You can consume boiled foods and vegetables that do not tire the liver. Avoid fast food, excessively fatty foods, ready-made foods. Do not consume fried foods. Do not consume sugar. Do not consume carbonated drinks. You will not use unnecessary medication. These are the things you will do. Your doctor will take care of the rest. AST is like this. Friends, in the next video, it's called another liver test. I will tell you about the GGT test. Then PT, you asked about the APTT test. I will make a video about it. If you have any questions about them, you can contact me under the video. See you in another video. Take care. Goodbye, guys.